Who can that be on the screen? Brains, brains. This is London agent here. I need the help of international rescue. There's been a terrible disaster. What's happened, Lady Penelope? Has Parker smashed your best teapot? Or, or, or is your makeup smudged? Oh, nothing quite so serious, Brains. It's just that evil villain, The Hood, has blown up Tracy Island. Hang on, Lady Penelope. I I'll work something out. I knew you'd help. My Bronzonium particle beamer tells me we have plans of the island. We just need someone to make them up. Oh, who, Brains? Who? It sounds like a job for Blue Peter. F.A.B. Brains. No sooner said than done. And here it is. The secret hideaway of that famous international rescue team. Now, if you can find Tracy Island in the shops, and it's not easy, it could cost you as much as £34.99p. But this one is created entirely from junk and it'll cost you nothing but just a bit of hard work you'll get a lot of fun out of it though and in true blue peter style ours thunderbird 3 comes out of a toilet roll and thunderbird 1 shoots out of a yogurt pot and thunderbird 2 comes out of a tissue box and the mechanical trees here well those are just pipe cleaners so here's my countdown to make the brand new look Tracy Island. Right, to start off with, we need a base for our island. I've cut mine out of a cardboard box. Now, this is the shape of my island. Yours doesn't have to be this shape, but just make sure that you've got a piece of the island jutting out at the corner, because that is going to be the runway for Thunderbird 2. Now then, for the hangers. The first hanger I've made out of a tissue box, and this is what I've done with the tissue box. I've covered the top where the tissues come out, and I've opened the front up so that Thunderbird 2 can go straight the way through it, and I've pushed it right to the back of the island, and mine sort of is cut at an angle at the back because that's the way it fits. Yours might be entirely different. I'm going to put some sticky tape on that to stick that down, and then we're going to make the top, which is the control tower. Now the control tower is made out of a cheese pot and I've painted it with this sort of grey colour so it doesn't really look like a cheese pot. And then the roof I've made out of one of these bowls. It's a paper bowl. Now you don't have to use a paper bowl but the reason I've used this is because it has this nice sort of curve on it and I've cut out the base and then cut it in half, painted it again grey to match the control tower and if you get some sticky tape you can just stick that on the top there. Now the middle launch pad is a yoghurt pot. Now I've used one of these big yoghurt pots, I think a cream pot would be alright, but just make sure that your rocket fits inside. You might just have to trim it down a little bit. And then the third launch pad is a simple loo roll. If you haven't got a loo roll, you could always use half of one of those kitchen rolls. So there you have the launch pads. Now then, the next thing is, well, this is actually my favourite because it's the papier mache bit. Now, Papier and Mache, you might have done this at school. I did it at school and loved every minute of it, basically because you can get nice and messy. But you get a flour and water paste. Flour and water paste is easy to make. You put some water into a bowl and you just keep adding flour until you get a gungy look like this. And then you get bits of newspaper, scrunch them up, put lots of the flour and water onto your base and then put the scrunched newspaper over the top of that. Loads more flour and water paste over the top. Now this does take a little bit of time but it's really worth it at the end of the day because this is, this is really the foundations of your island. Build your island up, it's going to take quite a lot of time and when you have finished you are going to have to be patient because this one I made ooh, about two days ago now and I had it in an airing cupboard. You don't have to put it in an airing cupboard, um, you can put it somewhere else. But Keep walloping it on, loads, loads more and more paper. I'm going to build this right the way up the tower and lob some more paper on there. Ooh, this is lovely. It does look messy, doesn't it? Now then, when you've finished it, it should look something like this. And this is the one I had in the airing cupboard for two days. Being very patient watching it. Now, I've got it to look quite smooth on the top, if you can just see that. And the reason I've got it to look like that is because I got lots of little pieces of square paper like that. And I flower pasted them all onto the top of the scrunchy bits of paper. And it just gives it a smoother, 
formal professional finish, like that. Now the rocks along the outside of the island, that's just foil. I got some foil, use it on the mat side, so the mat side is on the outside, and glued it all the way around the outside of the island, where you think that rocks would be on Tracy Island. Press it all down, and once you've done that, then you get some paint and you paint it to look like rock. Now, normal poster paint won't really work. You have to use something a little bit thicker than that, and I've used a matte emulsion. And so paint all the rocks with matte emulsion. You'll probably find that you'll need a couple of coats. I'm just going to paint this corner here. This is quite thick, this emulsion is. All the way around. Now then, once you've done that on all the rocky bits, then your island should start to look very much like Tracy Island. It looks like that. The top of it is green. Now, not only is it green, it also has a sort of textured look, doesn't it? Like land. Now, the way I've done that, it's got some green paint and popped some sawdust inside the green paint. And that's what gives that sort of knobbly look on the top. If you study Tracy Island, you'll know that the front, there's a little beach. Now, the easiest way to make a beach look like a beach is to use sandpaper, like I've done there. And I've also put sandpaper at the back in the cave. Sandpaper just there. Now, it's really starting to take shape. The control tower. We need to put some windows in so everybody can see out. Now, the easiest way to do that, I think, is to get these little sticky things. Now, they're little sticky shapes. I've coloured mine with a black felt-tip pen and stuck them round. You don't have to do that. You could actually paint them on yourself. But I think it looks quite clean that way it's done like that. Now, the secret cover to the hanger which comes down is just a piece of cardboard and again I've put some of this foil over the top and painted it brown and there's another piece of cardboard stuck on the back with a sort of lip like that. You could probably use an old Christmas card to do that and it just sort of nicely pokes in between there and so I'll leave that open because we might be putting Thunderbird 2 in it in a moment. The runway, well that's just a piece of grey card with lots of white lines down the middle. Pop that in there and the swimming pool. Well, the swimming pool is very easy, but we know, of course, it's not just the swimming pool. There's something else about the swimming pool. It's actually the secret opening to one of the rocket sites. Now, first piece of card you cut out to fit round the swimming pool, leaving enough room to get your rocket out. Then you get a piece of blue card, or you can paint card blue, and you put a frame round that blue card and you attach it all with one of these paper fasteners. So you have that sort of swing door effect like that on it. And once you've done that, pop it on top of your launch pad. Now then, Brains, what do you think of your Tracy Island so far? Great, Anthea. I think it's absolutely F.A.B. Well, I'm very pleased about that. Now then, launch pad three. First of all, make a surround, which is exactly the same as you've made the surround to your pool. Pop it over, over your loo roll. By the way, when you're doing your papier-mâché, just make sure that you've got enough of this loo roll to stick out. I think there's about just over two centimetres there. Now, I've used, for the lookout tower, one of these little trays that goes underneath a plant pot. I've got a hole in the middle, the same size as the loo roll, and then put some card on the bottom and cut a hole in the card and left a lip of about a quarter of a centimetre all the way around. And then I've painted it with this grey paint, the same grey paint I've used on everything else, and put these little window shapes all the way around. But two of them I've painted black because that's going to be the door and secure that over the top of the loo roll twist it round because that's going to be the door they come out of that door straight to the pool now then the house that's what the house looks like but would you believe that it starts out life looking like this do you remember when i said save the top of your cheese spread um, box well this is what we've done with it we've stuck on the top it just put those over there I've stuck on the top a matchbox, half a matchbox, and a little bit of polystyrene for the chimney. And then on the bottom, I've put another matchbox. Then I've got some straws, cut them into little pieces. This is just a normal straw, cut them into little pieces, and they are going to be the columns. Glue all that together, and once you've done that, paint it, and hey presto, 
it looks like that. Let's put it in the island now. Right, it's really taking shape now. There's not many more things to do, but the steps are very important. The steps are a little bit fiddly, but stick at it and you'll be able to do it. Um, you just really have to get some little bits of card or little bits of uh, wood and stick them together like that. There's lots and lots of things that you can use to make steps. I'm going to put the steps down there. I'm going to put some more steps from the observation tower and another set of steps leading to the swimming pool. You glue yours. I haven't got time to do that now. Vegetation. All islands need vegetation. Bath sponges dipped in bits of green paint, different coloured green paint. Pop those all the way around the island. A few little bits of bits of crepe paper there for some potted palms. And then, I love these. These are the mechanical trees. These are the trees that hide the runway. They're just pipe cleaners. You can paint your pipe cleaners brown if you want to. I've put some uh, crepe paper around my pipe cleaners. And then I've put some green crepe paper at the top to look like palm trees. And because they're pipe cleaners, of course, they bend all over the place. And um, the way that you secure them into the papier mache is you just get a pencil or something and bore a little hole I think you probably get about three or four either side and poke them all in. I'm just going to put those two in there. And then, this is the best bit, I'm going to put in Thunderbird 2. And there you go, Thunderbird 2 fits very nicely inside there. And that really is it. So, uh, Brains, I hope you're pleased with your brand new home. Oh, please. It's very nice, isn't it, Lady Penelope? There's a lot to remember, though, isn't there, Brains? There sure is. <laughs>